Hi friends, welcome to Santa Week and Pink Week. We're learning about Santa and the color pink. And so I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to make your very own watercolor Santa Claus. And I have a Santa and a little elf. So you guys can watch me how I draw it. It's I do, you do, so you'll copy me and then I'll show you how to paint it. So friends, let me show you the materials that you will need today. You will need a black crayon. You'll need a pencil. You will need a little cup of water and mine is a little bit red because I painted these little guys red. So um, you'll need a cup of regular water just to use with your watercolor paints. And Miss um, Mayfield, Miss Yusuf, we gave you guys some nice new watercolors. So I'll be showing you how to use those. Make sure friends, when you are watercolor painting, you're keeping this area really clean. You don't want to mix your colors because then you will have your yellow will turn different colors and it won't be nice and beautiful yellow when you try to use it. So try to keep this as clean as you can. Your watercolor paints will not work unless you have water on your paintbrush. So make sure that you have your water near you and you can even have a paper towel to tap off some of the water if you have too much water. Okay, so that's going to be what we're using today in order to make these. So let's get started. All right, friends. So the first thing you're going to do is write your name just so that we don't forget who it is, whose it is. Okay. And then flip your paper over. I'm going to hold mine up like this so you guys can see it really easy as I'm showing you how to draw it, but I want you guys to be doing it on the table. Okay. Just like normal, but you'll look at Miss Perry and you'll see what I do and then I'll give you a chance to do it. We're going to do this I do, you do style. So I'm going to do something on my paper and I want you to copy me, okay? All right, so flip your paper over and then all you'll need right now is your black crayon. Everybody has their black crayon. So in like the middle of your paper right here, you've got, I want you to leave enough room to put a little Santa hat, okay? But like right here in the middle, kind of in the top part of the middle, we're gonna make like a cloud, but it needs to be like a rectangle cloud like this because this is gonna be the bottom part of his hat. Just like that, you go ahead and try. Remember, if I'm not giving you enough time, you can always pause the video and start it back up when you're ready. All right, and after you've done that, I'm going to scooch this down a little bit so I can show you guys how to make the hat. You are going to make kind of like, um, you're gonna start right here in one of the little bubbles there. You're gonna go all the way up and around to the side like that, you're making a rainbow. And then on this side, you're just gonna make a little boop like that. And then you're gonna add a little puff ball on the end there. And you might have to go off the side of the page a little bit, just like Miss Perry. Okay, I'll give you a second to work on that. So you just do like a rainbow and a little ball on the side of your hat. Alrighty, and then when you're done with that, next we're going to work on his little face. So we're gonna make two eyes, so you're gonna make two circles. And then I'm just gonna make another circle inside, but I'm gonna leave it open because I'm going to paint those blue with my watercolor paints. All right, looking good. Next, friends, I'm going to make his cute little nose just a circle like this. And then this part's kind of tricky, but I'm going to make a little line that goes from the nose up to here. Okay, so let me show you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start up here and bring it down and connect it to the nose. It's almost like a little J, like a J and a backwards J, just like this. Okay, it's starting to come together. All right, has everybody done that? Perfect, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add his big fluffy beard. So we're gonna start on this side over here and starting at his hat right next to where we just made that little J, we're gonna make some, I'm gonna make it take up the whole rest of the page. Are you ready? We're going to make some fluffy, it's kind of like a cloud it's going to turn into his beard. I'm going to make it take up the whole rest of the page and I'm going to connect it back up to his hat right here. 
So now he's got this big old fluffy beard. All right, and the last thing we need to add is a little smile. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make him a happy Santa and I'm just gonna make a big smile just like that. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see yours. Okay, now friends, I'm going to show you how I paint him and I'll just tilt my camera down and let you guys watch me paint him. And um, you guys can do it just like me or you can change it up and make it however you want. But let's remember that his beard is white and this is white and this is white. This is red. And then friends, you can do a little pink nose or you can just leave his nose white. And then the eyes you can make little um, blue eyes or brown eyes or black eyes or green eyes you can choose. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to paint that right now. Okay friends, so let's paint this cute little Santa. I'm going to start out with the color red and I am going to start off with his hat. So I'm gonna paint red on the hat. And if your paint isn't working really good, you might need a little bit more water. So just add a little bit more water on it and I just dip my brush in the water and pat it in the color. That's how it works best for Miss Perry. Okay friends, so if you decided you'd rather make an elf, I'm going to show you how to make that now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make like a little face and I'll show you exactly what I mean. We're just going to start kind of in the middle of our page and we're going to make a kind of a straight line across. All right, next step we're going to make a little, um, almost like a little scoop because that's going to be the chin. So that's the face part. Okay, you'll see it come together in just a minute. You'll be like, oh, I get it. <laughs> All right, next thing we need to do is add some little elf ears. So I'll show you guys. We're going to make a pointy ear like this and then come down just like that. So pointy ear and then like kind of come down and scoop it just like that. All right. Next, we're going to put inside, we're gonna make like a little swirl like this. It's like the middle of his ear, right? Or her ear, if you're making a girl elf. So we'll do it for both of them. Ooh, it's already looking so cute. Kind of magical. All right, I'm going to add some eyes. So I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make mine all black, but if you wanna make like the round, the circle, like we just did with Santa and put a little pupil in it, you can do that or you can add eyelashes or eyebrows. I want you guys to have fun with this and make it your own version of Miss Perry's. So I'm gonna make some all black eyes just like this. And I might even use my watercolors to paint it a little darker with the black. And then if you wanna add lashes, you can add eyelashes. But you're going to make a big old fat nose or you can have a little nose if you want. And then we're going to make a nice happy smile because it's a happy elf working for Santa. So you have a nice little smile. Then I'm going to show you guys how to make an elf hat. So for the hat, friends, you're going to make like, it's kind of like upside down V's or like little mountain tops. So Miss Perry's gonna go like this. See how I'm doing that? They're almost like little mountain tops or like the uppercase letter A. All right, just like that. Kind of looks like hair right now, but that's the top of his hat. Okay, and then for the top part of the hat, I'm going to do exactly what I did to Santa's hat. So I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna make it go all the way to the side. I'm gonna come over here, make it go like that, a little tiny one. And then I'm going to put a bell on the end. So to make a little jingle bell, all Miss Perry is going to do is make a circle like that. And then I'm gonna put an X at the top. And that makes it just look kind of like a, a jingle bell. That's how Miss Perry makes bells. 
Okay, and then if you wanted to put polka dots on the hat or stripes, you can put stripes. Maybe I'll put some stripes on mine just to make it a little bit more festive. And then when I paint it, I can paint it different colors. Ooh, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, so there's my little elf so far. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the um, little elf suit, just the top right here. So same thing, just like you did up here, friends, we're going to make, coming out of his neck, we're gonna make some little mountain tops, but they're pointing down, they're more like a letter V now, just like that. And then at the end of each of these, I'm going to make a bell. So the same way I made my bell up here, I'm gonna make a circle, 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 circle. And then just to make it look like a bell, I'll put an X at the top. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can just pause the video. So now we have some little jingle bells on there. And then just to make it look like he's wearing a little shirt, I'm gonna go like this from the top right here. I'm just gonna go like this. So it's like the rest of the shirt. And then I'm gonna do it on this side too. Just like that, so he's wearing a little shirt, okay? And then you could put stripes on the shirt or something else down here if you want. Sometimes Miss Perry goes like this so it looks like his little arms are right there. Now, if you have a girl elf, you might have some hair coming down so you can just decorate it however you want. So now you have um, a little elf, and I'll show you guys how to paint this too, just to give you an idea. But remember, you can paint it however you want, okay? All right, friends, let's get painting. So just to show you guys how to use watercolors, you're going to need a little cup of water, and we don't wanna to put too much of the water in our watercolor set because we don't wanna get it all dirty. You have a brand new, beautiful watercolor set and we wanna keep it nice. So what you're going to do is you're going to dip your little paintbrush in the water and choose what color you're gonna use first. I'm going to start with the lightest color and I'm going to use yellow on my little elf spells. So I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm just going to put a little bit of water in my yellow paint and I'm not going to mix all my colors. I'm going to keep it right here in the little pan and be very careful so that I can keep my colors neat. If you mix your colors up, you'll probably ruin them, and then you won't have nice colors to work with. So if you want to make a um, rainbow, you won't have all the different colors to use. You'll only have one color. Okay, so we want to be careful with that. Friends, we're going to paint in the bells first, and it's kind of easy to watercolor because you can just be a, a little bit messy with it. It goes on really easy. You guys will see it's very easy to watercolor paint. Thank you. 